Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a new service called Quillians to quickly create assignments from a passage of text. So let's take a look at how this tool works. So you'll find it here at quillians.com. And I'm already signed in here in my account. And we're going to select the option up here for new content. And this new content is where we're going to now either write a passage of text or paste in a passage of text. So I've already pulled up this article from the Avalon project and I'm just going to copy this article which is in the public domain. And you need to have at least 300 words and no more than 3000 words in order for this tool to work correctly. So I'm going to make sure I just copy the first portion here. And now I want to paste this in. And I want to make sure I have the proper title. So there's the title. And I'm going to copy that title over here. And now we're going to select the domain. Domain is what a lot of us would call the subject or topic. I'll put that in the history domain. And let's proceed. And on this next page, what we're going to do is review the content and select key words that we want to focus on in the creation of questions based on the article. So I'm going to select a few of these. So pick those and then hit proceed. And now here it's going to assess the document and it's going to highlight any place that has lengthy sentences or incomplete sentences or some pronoun problems or what it interprets as pronoun problems. Now you can go in and change these if you want to, but I don't want to change how this article was originally written, how this piece was originally written. So I'm just going to acknowledge the fact that it might be a little bit wordy for some students and hit the get question ideas. We'll hit continue anyway and on this next screen we're going to see some questions provided for us based on the content that was pasted into the tool all right so now we have a set of questions available to us and you can see with this first one we have a true false but we have some variations on it if we want to see what the variation is just click and we'll see what the variation of that question is. Now down here we'll have some other questions. As you can see here, this is more of a fill in the blank type of question, a true false question, some more true false. Now with any of these, if I want to delete it, just hover over it and delete it from my list. You can also go in and edit that question if I want to. So we just hit that edit button. We can go in and write a new sentence. Or again, delete it if we don't want to use it. When we're happy with the list of questions that we have, hit the save button. And now we can hit the export button. And with the export, we can export it as a text file. And it'll look like a text file here that we could then print out if we want to use it. Now we can also go in and export this. And you'll see there's an option for PDF and Word, but both of those PDF and the Word options are premium features you have to subscribe to for $10 a month. You can also export it to a feature called Quilly Quiz. You can do that for free and that will create a set of online flashcards based on the questions that you see in front of you. So that's a short overview of a new service called Quillians. It's great for quickly creating a set of reading comprehension questions based on a document that you provide. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.